All right, so in this recipe right here, I'm gonna take my spicy rub, I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar to it, and we're gonna call it a sweet heat. Now the base for the spicy rub is two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of sweet paprika, I like to use the Hungarian kind, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, and one tablespoon of cayenne. All right, now for, for this recipe, for the sweet heat, and add two cups of brown sugar to the mix. I'm gonna take all the dry ingredients, right? Right here. We're gonna take the garlic powder, onion powder, get your cayenne, get your paprika. I know they look the same, but there's actually a difference. All right, black pepper. And then you take the salt too. Two cups of sugar, brown sugar, of course. And now all we're gonna do is whisk this together. All right, make it all nice and mix it up real good. All right, and like I said, you got that sweet. Yeah, you know, now me being from down south, I like sweet, so that's why I use a lot of brown sugar and a lot of stuff. All right. And we'll take the chicken and we'll take like half of this, right? We'll take half of this and mix it in, and then the other half will get sprinkled on after we brown it. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to do barbecue. If you live in an apartment or you don't have a pit or whatever, you can still do barbecue in your oven. All right, you just gotta have the right flavors and the right seasons, all right? All you need. All right, so do this big old bowl right Okay. These jerks right here. Right. Just put everything in one big old bowl. Everybody's gonna be friends. Wings. Okay. And just take. Like I said, take about half of that, right? Maybe a little bit more, right? Because you just want to save some for when you put it in the oven. Alright, so toss this all around. And then like I said, we're gonna let this stuff sit. Make sure everything gets coated real good, right? And then we'll sit it in the fridge and let it just sit around and marinate for a while. Right? Let the seasonings get in there, let the flavor get in there real good. Alright. So and then while it's marinating, go ahead and we'll preheat our oven. 375, all right? Excuse me, let me wash my hands because you know, I don't want no chicken stuff on everything, all right? You know, always gotta be safe in the kitchen, y'all. Always gotta be safe, all right? I watch some of these shows, some of these chefs, they kind of upset me when they don't sit there and wash your hands after they've touched some raw chicken or some raw pork or whatever. You know, you don't want to get no one sick, you always make sure you keep your hands clean, all right? So then we're just gonna put this in the fridge and we're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes. And then we'll come back and uh, we'll get to cooking. So it's been 30 minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and take the chicken out. We're gonna let it sit out and kind of get to room temperature. So let it sit for about a good 10 minutes if you take it out before we start to brown it. And as you can see, look at them spices right there. And that's all good right there. So we'll let this sit just 10 minutes. Don't leave it out too, too long. Just want to kind of get room temp. So when you start to brown it, it'll cook kind of evenly. All right. Sit there last sure it looks too good, right? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and brown the chicken, right? Uh, you don't have to cook it all the way through because we're still going to put it in the oven. So we're just going to kind of brown it real quick on each side and we'll set it aside. And then after everything's done, we'll put it in that 375 preheated oven. And everything will be, oh, well, I'm sorry. We'll take it out. We'll put the rest of the mix on it. And then we'll put it in that 375 oven, all right? 
because you want it to have at least season when you lock some of the flavor in and then just add a little bit more flavor at the end and that's it. Doing this with some olive oil. You ain't gotta measure it out. Just whatever amount of olive oil you're comfortable with. It's not a deep fry or anything like that. So I just coated the bottom of the pan and that was it. I'm only going to cook for about eh, maybe a minute each side. Like I said, it's, you're not trying to cook it all the way through. So probably a minute each side just to brown it. And then, like I said, we'll sit it aside. Hey, who's in my kitchen? Who's in my kitchen? Who? <laughs> Said. We'll put this in a different bowl, of course. We ain't put it in the same bowl. And like I said, once we get done, of course we'll have to let it cool a little bit because no one wants to touch hot, oily chicken. Good. Okay. And like I said, this is something you got to do. You got to barbecue in your apartment. Or in your house, no kid. Matter of fact, if you live up north where it's cold and you can't fire up your pit in the winter and you want some barbecue, here you go. We just do it like a minute each side. You're just going to brown it. That's it. You know, like I said, everything's not really gonna finish cooking in the oven, that's what it is. But, but you just wanna kind of brown it. And what does this do? Well, you're just trying to get a, cause one, you want to sear, you want some kind of lock in some flavors, right? Plus, it doesn't turn out like baked chicken. I mean, you're not trying to bake chicken. You wanna kind of barbecue it, so you try to lock in one flavor, intensify with some more flavor and then when we put it in the oven it's going to be uncovered because if you cover it there's going to be more juices coming out and that's another thing with this you're trying to reduce the amount of juice that comes out of the chicken right you're still going to get some out of the chicken but you just don't want a lot of it coming out you don't want it to uh basically you don't want it to boil right because when the, whatever liquid comes out then it's gonna boil. You don't want it to boil, all right? You actually want it to cook, like try to be almost dry. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah, okay, I'm just stirring around and get some more of this, this good stuff that's at the bottom on some more of these pieces of chicken. Nothing extra. It's just that, hey, it's settled down there. Why not go ahead and marinate some more in there, right? Get it all over. You can never have too much flavor. All right? Never have too much flavor. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm always cleaning my stuff, messing my stuff off. It's a bad habit. Well, it's not a bad habit, it's my habit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Put the next load in. All right. Get these out.
go ahead and get my Pyrex dishes because once we mix the second stuff in there, we're gonna have to put in the Pyrex. Make sure it's real, real hot before you add your oil to it. Gas stove, no problem. Put oil in there, turn it on. Yeah. Okay. Some more wings. Oh, Lord. I got a wing that's not cooperating here. What happens when you got wings that don't cooperate? Why is it uh, wet in there? Just because the chicken oh, juice? Yes. Okay. It's, it's, or is it limes? Huh? Did you put limes in no, there? No, no. Oh, okay. What that is, is literally, it's just that when you put like a dry rub on something, I mean, you know, the moisture of the chicken comes out. And, you know, it's actually drawing stuff out. So, you know. But you know what? That's all that flavor. That's what they call that. That's the flavor. All right. All I know is this stuff's gonna taste excellent. No need for no sauce. Alright, it's all rub. Good. And then later on, 
after we do this, I'll teach you guys how to make a Greek pizza. All right, real simple. Make a pizza at home. Impress your friends, impress your lady, impress your family, man. Pizza, you can get real creative. Uh, basically, you go buy you a pre-made Pillsbury crust and then just get crazy with your ingredients. And that's coming up after this. A little dark. I don't know if the minutes look too long, but that's all right. Still be good. Mm. That's all that extra seed, all the stuff that's been in there already. Unfortunately, it's kind of burning, but I didn't feel like cleaning that skillet, man. <laughs> so, those will have the extra crust, but it's not for how long they're in there. It's actually the stuff that was on there. It's already in the skillet, so unfortunately the sugar does do that after a while. You won't see this, because you didn't see it on these other ones. But you won't see it unless you got a whole lot of chicken to cook. <laughs> okay, so now we got the chicken out. All we're gonna do is bring a little bit more extra love on them, all right? And you can do this by hand, it's no big deal. Alright? Just get them. And you're gonna have to do it on both sides, so you have to flip them over and all that other fun stuff. But Spring a little extra love, little extra seasonings. You got the first blast in there, and this will be the next blast, right? Put a little on there. This one. Alright? Do flip these jokers over, get the other side, right? Because you can't just season one side of meat. Alright? You gotta season both sides of meat. Alright. that 375 preheated oven. If you guys have a convection oven, I would say use that. If you don't, 375 on a regular oven will still work. All right. Oops, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, this, uh, now what about a new wave oven where well, since it, a new, since a new wave you oven put it right on the, on the uh, rack? Yes. Because the juice drops down, right. so that's okay? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Wow, that looks delicious already. Oh, you want to take a look at yeah. that real quick? Yeah, it's in there. Uh -huh. All right, you let that sit, you let that cook. You know how long? Um, actually, I usually don't check it until about an hour's gone by. All right. Oh, wow. And the only reason is, is I want to make sure my chicken is done. Okay. You know, some people they go, oh, it's still juicy. Well, you know me, I'm like, hey. If it's got the least bit of pink, to me, that's not cooked. All right, so I do have a tendency every now and then to cook it longer than most people. But I would say don't check it until at least an hour's gone by. All right. I mean, if you want to, you can check it, but I'm just saying, me personally, I would. But that's just me, y'all. Uh oh. Run out of space here. I'll give me another another pain. <laughs> All 
Now I got some more Pyrex around here. sit for about an hour. Look at all that chicken, man. That's a lot of chicken love right there. Man, we should be good. We'll come back after an hour. Now, I cooked a little longer than an hour, but I wanted to make sure that the meat, see how it comes right off the bone right here? That way, you know it's done, all right? So now everything's out. Now, this is your barbecue in your apartment. You got a little bit of salt, a little juice, you know, everything's got some good stuff on there. So hopefully, you guys can duplicate, replicate my uh, recipe and enjoy. Okay. 